What is up guys? So I'm gonna talk about some dreams that I had. So one started off where it was like, um if you ever been to like the Taos and that stuff where it's like they used to have the carnival grounds, well that's where it took place and all of a sudden it went to like a Halloween thing. Like I don't know how to describe it, but like it was like Halloween night or something, and everybody was in costumes and that stuff. And I remember I dressed up as like Billy El Tipo and I went with like my, my actual like, you know, my stereotype or whatever. Like, I was a cowboy, and I was trying to hunt, like, specific people and that stuff that betrayed me in my life and that stuff. And it's weird, because, like, the town turned it into, like, a, a hallway. And, like, instead of pavement roads and all that stuff, it was, like, an actual, like, a, like a, a hallway closet room and that stuff. Where I had to open, like, curtains and that stuff to get into some rooms. It felt like I was floating in space or something while I was going, levitating through the rooms and that stuff. And then, um, I had this other dream which was last night, which was pretty freaking scary, man, um, like, it was cool, but it scared the crap out of me at the same time, like, there was, a a zombie dream, it was, like, a Playboy Mansion, but instead it was a zombie hotel or something like that, and, like, um, you're supposed to get attacked by zombies and that stuff, and, like, I remember there's this couple and that stuff, and the dad was so into it, he dressed up like a zombie as well, and then, uh, I guess like kids from like Harvard also like paid and went to the to the hotel I like that stuff and like they got invited to like you know the husband and wife's room and that stuff and there's like three zombies and stuff and once the people walked into the room a zombie walks out of the bathroom and then a zo uh, while they're gonna turn to go to the door a zombie walks into the door and then as soon as they you know they look around and see the zombie up there behind them is a zombie coming out of the closet and I stuff I was like a la verga anyways me and my grandmother ran a room and I'm like I'm all like, this is gonna suck, you know, I'm all like, I'm, I'm terrified of zombies and that stuff, and so, uh, I packed my guitar, I was like, I'm gonna use that as a weapon and that stuff, but, um, like, I sort of knew, like, it was, like, cast members and that stuff, but at the same time, it was all like, you know, I don't, I was all like, I'm not gonna, like, get, like, you know, tricked or any of them, like, you know, tricked by them and that stuff, so, like, I grabbed my guitar and that stuff, and then, like, basically, when they all started coming into the room, I used that as my weapon, but I, I, when I realized that it was just actors and that stuff, that's when I was like, you know, just like fake smashing and that stuff. And they pretend to bite me and that stuff. Then they take me to this other room where it's like challenges where you have to face your fears and that stuff. And one of them was I didn't want to go inside this basement and this crap for some reason. And uh, well, what first happened was is that they took us into a room where, um, what happened? Where... So it was weird because like, cause like they had like hidden doors inside the hotel room. So it's like when you're sleeping, they're gonna scare you and like that stuff. So it's kind of interesting. And uh, so that's how they like popped up out of nowhere. And then um, so like I said, it's kind of like a Playboy Mansion, I guess, because they have like a like a like an escort, like a prostitution brothel thing, where they have like some hot zombie chicks, and I guess they dress up like zombies or something. And like you know, like you know, they spend the night with you in a room and that. And uh, I said, uh, they're all like, he's like, he's like, you can come into this room or something like that. Come into this room and that. I'm like, I don't want to go to this room, dude. It's all like, it's fucking scary as fuck. And then they're all like, this is the sex chamber and that shit. I was like, well, it's kind of weird that I'm with my grandmother and that stuff. I was like, fuck it, you know, I'll just fucking hook up with a chick right then and there. I don't give a shit, man. Chicks are hot. Chicks are hot. And so I go over there and that stuff. And then like, they have some like hot zombie chicks. I'm like, God damn, like. Sure, they have makeup on and that shit, but they look fucking hot. I'm not gonna fucking lie. Like, in the dream, they looked fucking hot, dude. And, uh... I remember I was eating this chick out, and then all of a sudden... It was all like, time's up, or like that. So I'm like, I'm in the bed, or like this stuff. And they're all like, you need to stay in this room, and then decide which, like, brothel, or like, which, uh... Chick you want, and that stuff. So I'm like, okay. And then I'm looking around, and then I see this statue, and there's, like, zombie eyes behind the statue. And I'm all like, yeah, I'm getting the fuck out of this room. It creeped me the fuck out. And then as soon as I got out of the room, like, this dude, I'm like, dude, I'm like, I'm like I don't want to be in this room anymore. And they're all like, well, you have to. And I'm all like, like, no, I'm not going in this room. And then basically he grabs me and that stuff. And then he throws me into this chamber that's even darker than that shit. I'm like, what the fuck? And then I get out of it, and they're all like, you passed the next level. And I was like, Jesus Christ. And I found out, like, the more you struggle with your fears and that stuff, they take you to darker shit. I'm like, this is fucked up, dude. And then they're like, you need to go in the basement. I'm like, I'm not going to that fucking basement. It's all like, while you're going to the arcade, which is worse. I'm like, okay, that's cool. And so I'm playing, like, an arcade with the zombie dude and that stuff. So, like, he can get to know me, like, who I am more. 
And then next thing I know is uh, after I win like three games of this arcade running game, uh, fuck, what happens? Oh, yeah, yeah, Then all of a sudden I get like, it's like a sacrifice or something like that shit. Like, you know, I go into this room and I'm about to be a sacrifice to like an antichrist or something like that zombie. And like basically like this hottest chick in there. Like, basically, he's getting fucked by this, like, Antichrist thing. It's like a half bull, half dog or something like that. Like, an actual buffalo. I'm like, what the fuck? And then there's, like, an, a crowd audience looking at this shit now. And they're like, ew, what? I'm all like, what? It's, it's all like, like, you guys aren't fucking, <laughs> fucking disgusting yourselves and that shit. I was like, I didn't really give a fuck, dude. I was just pissed that I couldn't fuck the chick. But I'm all like, I don't want to fuck the chick anymore, dude. She fucked a fucking half-breed something. Like a fucking minotaur, dude. I was all pissed off, and I guess I had to kill the minotaur or some shit, and the minotaur tries to crush me and, like, that stuff, try to, like, kill me and eat me, and then all of a sudden, like, a fucking brick falls and, like, bashes its face in, which I grab a fucking dagger that's, like, as, like, a portrait or something. I grab it, and I stab him in the fucking brains, like, up his, like, nose right here, and then, like, in his head and that shit. I'm like, damn, dude. And then, like, I end up getting fucking powers because I turn into a zombie, a zombie vampire. I'm like, what the fuck, dude? And I'm able to fly around and shit. That's where I have to fight the fucking boss or some shit of the fucking place. I'm like, I don't want to fucking fight you, dude. Just give me some fucking hot fucking hookers I can fucking be with. And there's all, like, so, like you have to pay over a thousand. I'm all like, shit, I only have six grand and shit. Or I have three grand or something like that. It turns out I had six grand. I was all like, fuck, I can only have one. It's like, I don't give a fuck, man. It's like, even for 30 minutes, just give me a fucking hot chick. So we stopped fighting. I ended up fucking with this hot fucking zombie chick, two of them, this hot tall blonde chick and this hot brunette blonde white chick. And I'm like, damn, like, I'm like, this is fucking badass and shit. And I'm like, and it's funny because when I first ended up on the show, I was all like, dude, this place fucking sucks, man. It's like, I should have fucking spent my money to the Playboy Mansion. And that shit is all like I know it's zombie oriented, but these guys are trying to scare the fuck out of you. And I'm like, dude, like this is fucking night terrors. This is how you die of a heart attack. But yeah, that was a fucking dream and shit. And uh, it ended up I woke up after chilling with those two zombie chicks and that stuff. And then like, yeah, no, so that was that was kind of it. All right, till next time.